Gigaba made headlines after a sex recording of him which he claimed he had been used in blackmail and extortion attempts against him was leaked. He said the recording must have been stolen in a phone hack from 2016 or 2017 and the contents were meant to be private. The video features the minister in a solo sex act asking the recipient of the recording to imagine felanting him. He later apologized for the incident. My wife and I have learnt with regret and sadness that a video containing material of a sexual nature meant for our eyes only, which was stolen when my communication got illegally intercepted, my phone got hacked in 2016 or 2017, is circulating amongst the certain political figures. This video has been at the center of a number of blackmail and extortion attempts dating back to the period immediately following my appointment as Minister of Finance on 31 March 2017, all of which I have steadfastly refused to entertain. This was, however, not Gigaba's first sex scandal. In one of the most public scandals in the political sphere, both Gigaba's women, Norma Gigaba and Butlem Kize, publicly fought on social media, calling each other names we would rather not mention. Following the scandal in 2015, Gigaba's then-girlfriend Mkize wrote an open letter detailing the affair she allegedly had with the Home Affair Minister, who seemed to have been struggling to handle his fear his affair at home. According to the letter, their affair started in July 2014 after their meeting on Instagram and they realized they share the same sense of humor. By the end of July, Gigaba allegedly started sending Mkize private messages that were innocent at first but graduated to flirting. The exchange of private messages on Instagram quickly escalated to calls and text messages. Gigaba then arranged for Mkize to visit him in Cape Town where they spent four days together. He gave her cash gifts one of which was 288,000 rand, revealed an open letter published in Just Curious. The two women started attacking each other but eventually apologized to one another. Now it seems the affair at Gigaba's home are back to normal, whatever that is, as the two have been posting pictures of each other on Instagram and taking vacations together. Gigaba found himself in dilemma after Mkiza took to Twitter to respond to his wife Norma Gigaba's interview with ENCA. In the, in the interview, Norma opened up about an affair her husband had with New York-based stylist Mkize about two years ago, saying it had been a difficult time for her family. Though she was hurt by the affair, Norma said she worried more about her parents. I was feeling so bad for my mother and his mother. When they were going to church, people were reading drums, magazine, and they were reading papers, and now we have to explain. Norma received criticism for the interview, but it seems she invited Mkize right back in her life, exactly where she had not wanted her to begin with. Mkize, who is now married, opened a Twitter account responding to Norma's interview. She said she was not going to sit by and watch Norma lie to the public. In fact, Mrs. Gigaba should have refused to speak about the affair as everyone had moved on from it, said Mukize. Could you have not declined answering the question, Norma? I get interview questions on it all the time, but I decline, she wrote. Treating the minister directly, the woman called herself Mukize further warned Gigaba to keep his wife on a leash or she should reveal more details about their affair. Stop here from ever bringing this up again, or they'll hear about December 18. You know me and documenting. I don't sleep at Gigaba. Let's not forget the private jet job back to Deben, Gigaba. Shoka, you have never met the Guptas Anditi. Mkize and Noma should have just kept quiet and live her life quietly, but now secrets that have long been kept would come out, she threatened.